I finally got it big enough. That's what he said. That's what she said. <laughs> Seriously, I used a diffuser today that I ain't used since like Tawny Catan was up on the White Snake video roof. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Any 80s babies in the house? Preach. Wood shaking gang. Me and my big hair would like to welcome you to this episode. <laughs> my name's Brittany Ventura. I am a personal stylist. Today we are talking about capri pants, crop pants, um, clam jiggers, whatever y'all call them. Pants that do not go all the way down. That is what we are talking about today. I was talking about We'll just call them capris today. I was talking about capris in a previous denim video, and it's a personal preference. Like, y'all know how it is. Personal style is just that. It is incredibly personal. So while I don't have a plethora of crop pants, that's just me, right? However, I have one pair. So I want to talk about these. I want to measure them up for y'all. I want you to know what I like and don't like about crops. And if you are on the fence about them, maybe these things, these my opinion things can help you get off the fence. Because what isn't better than making a decision, right? Limbo stinks. So I'm gonna tell you right now, these are not available. And I have looked high and low because let me tell you what. Calvin Klein, that's right, <laughs> me and Mark Wahlberg, I, uh, I found these at TJ's a million and one years ago. I mean, maybe like when my boys were real little, like real little tangent. Okay, so I used to take my boys to TJ Maxx, obviously, because why wouldn't I? And they, I would send them on missions, not like send them, like, you know how it is when you have kids. If you have kids, your children are like never this, they're never further away than this. My children, I would, they would like get elbowed in the, just, they're always right there, right? We're just like an amoeba, like little ducks, right? So we'd be like pushing our buggy. That's right, I call it a buggy. I'm from West Virginia. That's what we call it. I know that y'all call it carts, shopping carts. I call it a buggy. So I got my buggy, I got my boys, I'm in TJ's. Sorry, this is a lot of boob today. Let me back up. Maybe not. So I'm in TJ's. I got my boys. And they're like maybe three and five. Maybe they're two and four. You know what I mean? Like little. So you know those things on the top of the hangers that'll say like S, M, L. But they're just like little. They like clip on. So you know by the hanger what size it is. They would go on a mission, walking down the aisle with me, finding these, they would call them gems because they were like red and yellow and white and great, all the colors. So that is how I survived TJ's with toddlers. God, that should be a series. I look back on it and it gives me the giggles because if you're ever at TJ's, look on the ground and all those things whatever they call themselves, that have like fallen off hangers. They're just hanging out right underneath the racks, right? My boys would be so dirty. They would get down on their hands and knees and be like walking around underneath these clothes, trying to find these doodads, but they were good. And they made it a race or a competition rather. Well, they're boys, so everything's competition. So like at the end of the, like when we go through the checkout, I'd, I'd tell them, okay, no, give them to the lady and she'll count them and tell you who won. So they would have like handfuls of these doodads and they'd give them to, back to the lady at the checkout counter or whatever. And she'd be like, oh, well, thank you. That was so helpful. We really appreciate you. Like make a big fuss about it. And that's how I did it. That's how I did it. Neither here nor there. Back to business. So that's where these pants came from about a million years ago. I'm just going to give you the stats on them real quick. Hang on. I do quite like to wear it. 
Do y'all like it? Let's do a, let's do two measurements. Let's see what the rise is. So Chris, y'all know what it is. Crisscross scratch. I don't believe they're my highest rise pant. No, they're pretty standard. 11 inches. Not good, not bad. Just it is. I don't go lower than 11. Y'all know that. And so for me being 5'7", this is where I like my crops to go to. If I'm going to crop, this is prerequisite. I do not, I'm real fussy. I'm a fussy broad, y'all. And if it ain't just right, I totally get this from my nan, my dad's mom, 100%. She was real funny about fit. When you know what you like, you know your body, and you understand all that, why wouldn't you be? Okay, so the, the inseam on these Calvin Klein's is 27 inches. Now I'm going to try these things on and I think I pointed the wrong way one time. I don't know, somewhere. And you will see where they hit me on my leg. I think it's my sweet spot, but on everybody it's gonna be different. So think about your leg really slimming out at the bottom where there's like, I don't know, a three inch spread of where your ankle has skinniness. <laughs> this is incredibly hard for me to describe, but bear with. All right, so your, you know, your knee, your calf, end of your calf, and then there's just that sweet spot. It's not very big, but it's thin, and that's where your ankles are tiny. Yes? So you wanna pick in that range. The range is not very big. And here's where I think it gets tricky. Do we look like we got flood pants on? Is it intentional? You know what I mean? So you kind of just have to check yourself out and be like, okay, is it, is it cropped enough that it doesn't look like, you know, like when your kids outgrow something and you just look at them like, oh my God, you can't wear that. That's the vibe you're not going for. Like people are gonna look at you and be like, oh honey, you outgrew those pants last season. Not like in a bad way, just like flood style. Is this making sense? So I do not wanna be flood pants and I do not wanna cut my calf muscle in a big spot. And that's the other bit. Some of these like, maybe that's the clam digger. They're almost, beyond the crop, they've gone too high, and now they're just drawing attention to the widest part of your muscularly awesome calves. But I do not want a harsh cutoff line on my calf, yes? So this is, I'm gonna be showing you these pants, and the next thing I would encourage you to think about is footwear. There are three styles or variations of footwear that I wear when I wear these pants. I only wear these pants either with like a long boot that I can just tuck them into. So really tall boots. Didn't mention that, but you know that. Or a pump that's the same color as my skin. Y'all know how I do. I do two pumps. I got a pump that's this color and then one that's a little bit darker so I can wear that in the summertime when I'm tanner, when I'm self-tanning. P.S. I know I tell you guys about these Mark Fisher Buttes all the time, but they have done a like an update on this shoe. So it's at Nordstrom right now. Mark, M-A-R, I think he's a C. Yes, M-A-R-C Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. Just look up his shoes if you're on like the interwebs. He's got a good one. I love it. It's comfortable. What size heel is this? Y'all remember how I told you to measure the heel height that you like? Know that number moving forward. For me, everyday pump. This is my everyday pump. That's right. I could run in these bad boys. I could lift weights in these bad boys. This is my everyday pump. I'm 40 years old. Now, my husband's grandma, she is, uh, what is she, 97? Gigi, you're 97. I think she's 97. 
she was wearing heels like yesterday. Hashtag goals. If I can wear heels up into my 90s, check. Mm. I probably will be. I will be that broad, giving my family a heart attack. Oh, well. All right, three and a half inch. That's me. I didn't measure the heel that he redid, but I'm sure it says it in the drop box. Y'all know, gotta look at the drop box. So tall, tall boots, those, these. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I traditionally do not like a shoe with a strap around the ankle, traditionally. And I'll tell you why. I'm sorry, this is all personal opinion. Again, if you are here for all the shoes with the straps around the ankle, disregard all the things I'm about ready to say. Because, I mean, uh, clearly I, look at me, hypocrite. I got a shoe right here. I got another one right here. Now, here's what I'm going to say about it, though. Hear me out. I'm very specific about what I wear this with. So this is the bit that I love about the shoe. All this. I love that it's square. I love that this color matches my skin. I love that it's suede. I will wear this knowing that this matches my skin and it's not gonna cut my ankle off and draw attention to like bring the look down. I'll wear this with these pants and you'll see in the cutaway, it looks quite nice. What I wouldn't wear, would not, is this one, cause it's black. So you're gonna see harsh black line around my ankle, right? And then the edge of my denim so it's just a lot going on down there and that brings your attention down there. I'd much rather it be, you know, up and down or up. Up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. And my last pair of shoes that I would wear with capris, clam diggers, whatever y'all wanna call them, would be to just 100% jump into the deep end and just go with something bold but no strapping, just the shoe is like full on. So maybe you're wearing just a white t-shirt, these and these and like a red lip. Do you know what I mean? So you're just like effortlessly hot. Do that. You could also do something with some sparkle. Y'all know how I feel about these, these weapons. But that's the bit. If you're gonna go this route and have a dynamite shoe, either in color, pattern, embellishment, everything else should be very turned down. You are like never gonna hear me say turned down, <laughs> except in this scenario. Because somebody's gotta be the winner. There is an element in your outfit that's either the leader or the jump off or, you know, the, the, the thing that you, the thing that you want to, emphasize, right? One. Mm -hmm. So for example, that would be my hair today. <laughs> so everything else is kind of tamed down, right? I'm, I'm not going to wear red pumps with this outfit. Yes, I'm probably going to wear black pumps or black boots. No, I am going to wear black boots because when I wear, in the wintertime at least, when I wear a pump, you can see that little bit of skin Lord help me, I hope I don't fall over trying to show you all this. Here's why I don't like pumps and jeans in the wintertime. Oh, it's not even gonna be a good example because these pants are forever long, but pretend they're not. And you're gonna just see that part of my skin. I want it to be all the same, elongating, no breaks, which is why the in the winter time, it just, I think it just looks ridiculous because you're not as tan and yada, yada, yada. Just me. So what do I wear in the winter? A boot. So there's no toe skin, foot skin showing when I walk. Yes? Just me. Y'all, it's just me. This is not, fashion is fun. There are no hard and fast rules anymore.
If y'all have questions, you know I got answers. If you would like to work together, please reach out. You can go to my website. It's my name, BrittanyVentura.com. You can book me there. You can get on a discovery call with me, schedule it there. I have free downloads on my website. The wardrobe checklist is a must. I'm going to link it. Get it. And then you're going to be on my newsletter too. So you'll know every month the top 10 things that I'm loving. That's right. And it is all over the board. Like it could be anything. And it's always, <laughs> it's always a good time putting that list together. But yeah, I'll, I drop gems in my newsletter. I only send one, one a month. I'm not that broad. Who's like paragraphs upon paragraphs. I just don't. I don't. Who's got time to read all that? No. My emails are like, boom, 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 <laughs> bullet, 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 picture, click on the video, like fast. Okay. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe. And until next time, gang.